I'm Leo Sidrin with The Art of the Story. There's an expression that says the map is not the territory. It means that whatever symbol system you use to try and understand your world, the lines on a map, for example, or the awards given to somebody for drawing those lines, that symbol system can never really capture our everyday experience. The map will never take the place of the real world or the way we move through it. Maps are a way of categorizing our ability to find ourselves in the onrush of history, but they are not history itself. When it comes to the arts, it's particularly fraught because the arts are themselves a kind of symbol system for understanding the life and times of an artist. In the case of the arts, the map can include musical notation, as well as awards, credits, reviews, and more. But none of that tells the whole story. Take, for example, Taishan Sori. He's an improvising drummer who was sought out by the likes of Vijay Iyer, John Zorn, Roscoe Mitchell, Bill Laswell, Lage Lund, Steve Coleman, Steve Lehman, and more to collaborate with them. But these are just points on the map, as is his winning a MacArthur Fellowship and being referred to in the New York Times as the composer of the year. As a band leader, Sori has released a steady output of work, from electronic to free improvisation, through composed pieces to revisionist standards. He's a professor of composition at the University of Pennsylvania. He's also a black man who was raised in inner city Newark, New Jersey, and who was kept in special education for much of his childhood, but who eventually found familiarity in the classical avant-garde and acceptance in some of the most prestigious institutions in America. These are all points on the map with his name on it, but they don't begin to capture the life and artistic territory of Taishan Sori. Another level of inspiration, of course, is Morton Feldman's composition of the same name, titled Rothko Chapel. Morton Feldman is a tremendous, if not possibly the biggest influence for me as a composer. So that composition is in conversation with Feldman. The piece is also in conversation with trauma. Morton Feldman's Rothko Chapel composition, for example, deals with ancestral trauma in, in much the same way that his music deals with ancestral trauma. So does monochromatic light afterlife as well, uh, dealing with more specifically black ancestral trauma through the interpolation of the spiritual, sometimes I feel like a motherless child. The idea was not to create a beautiful canvas for a viewer to look at. Like this goes beyond the idea of try to paint something that looks nice. But quickly it became clear that, like he told me, it's not about any kind of hierarchy, but rather how do these different things keep me alive? The, these boxes that we talk about, I mean, they, they don't exist. You know, we, we make these boxes ourselves. That's the territory we wound up exploring. To hear my full interview with Taishan Sori, visit wbgo.org studios. For WBGO News, I'm Leo Sid.